Welcome to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. This tutorial covers the details on how to use the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console to create a cloud account administrator for accounts enabled with Identity Domain. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Identity and Access Management I am, provides identity and access management features such as authentication, single sign-on, SSO, and identity lifecycle management for Oracle Cloud, as well as Oracle and non-Oracle applications, whether SaaS, cloud-hosted, or on-premises. IAM integrates with existing identity stores, external identity providers, and applications across cloud and on-premises to facilitate easy access for end users. When your company signs up for an Oracle account and identity domain, Oracle sets up a default administrator for the account. This person will be the first IAM user for your company and will be responsible for initially setting up additional administrators. Your tenancy comes with a group called Administrators, and the default administrator automatically belongs in this group. You can't delete this group, and there must always be at least one user in it. You can assign administrators in your organization different levels of access to various tasks and resources. This is a common support requirement for OCI customers, but did you know that you can create users and groups and give them permissions straight in the OCI console? Please note that you must have cloud administrator permissions to complete this task. We strongly encourage that having a backup admin is essential for achieving constant availability and a seamless user experience. This backup admin can provide support for any access issues, preventing tenants from being locked out of their tenancies. Granting a user or a group the identity domain administrator role in the default domain is equivalent to granting them full administrator permissions for the tenancy. This behavior applies to the default domain only. Here's how you can do it. To start, access your Oracle Cloud account through the default domain. Once logged in, open the navigation menu and select Identity and Security. Click Domains under Identity. Select Default to open the default identity domain. On the left-hand side, click Users under Resources. In the Create Users window, input the user's first and last name into the first name and last name fields. To allow the user to log in with their email address, ensure that you select the Use the email address as the user's name checkbox and enter the email address into the username email field. Alternatively, if the user wants to log in with their username, clear the use the email address as username checkbox and fill in the username and email fields accordingly. Under select groups to assign to this user to, select the Administrators checkbox. Finally, click Create to complete the process. A welcome email will be sent to the provided email address containing instructions on how to sign in and start using the tenancy. Once the entitlements are granted to the user, they will be notified via email. The newly created user cannot access their account until they complete the password reset steps. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thank you for watching.